My name is Adam Gallegos. I'm a firefighter paramedic with the Castle Rock Fire and Rescue Department. Today we're going to be going over rapid extrication scenario. First and foremost, we want to make sure that we have our BSI on, gloves, eyewear. You can wear these into the scenario or you can also verbalize. First, we're going to apply the collar. Prior to doing that, we're going to have my partner Joey maintain in-line manual stabilization. Uh, he's going to ensure that there's neutral alignment uh, of the spine. If he needs to open the airway or adjust the airway, he's going to use the jaw thrust maneuver. And we'll, we'll instruct one of our other responders to check the patient's sensory circulation and motor. So Joey's going to size the collar. In order to do that, he's going to, again, maintain neutral position of the spine. He's going to ensure that the ears are in line with the shoulders and the eyes are 90 degrees to the torso. Joey's going to measure from the bottom of the chin to the top of the shoulder using his fingers for the width. He'll preform the collar prior to putting it on, ensuring there's a natural bend to the collar. Slide the collar along the chest and then slide the back of the collar behind the posterior part of the patient's neck. He'll attach the strap and if this collar is fitting appropriately, the chin cup will fit snugly against the bottom of the patient's chin. Now we're going to perform the actual extrication. Rescuer 1, Joey in the back here is going to maintain manual stabilization of the spine. Rescuers 2 and 3, Jay and Lieutenant Richardson are going to support the, the patient's hips as we move him. And Rescuer 4, Nate, is going to maintain control of the head of the spine board. In a streamlined movement, Joey's going to call the commands and we're going to make one movement to move the patient towards the doorway whenever you're ready. One, two, three. Joey's going to hand off manual stabilization to Lieutenant Richardson. They're going to be very careful to keep him in line without a lot of movement. Now Lieutenant Richardson will call the commands to move the patient so that he's properly placed on the spine board. And we'll make one more movement. Now that the patient is positioned correctly, we'll reassess his circulation, sensory, and motor. Move him safely to the ground. Now that the patient's safely on the ground, we're going to strap the patient in using a technique uh, with the spider straps. These are designed for patients that are five foot and above. We're going to start with the V of the spider straps over the sternum. We'll go ahead and secure those to the board. Next, we'll move to the strap across the chest. The next strap will go across the patient's pelvis. Next one across the thighs. And lastly, across the patient's legs. Now we'll secure the patient's head using head blocks and straps. We'll reassess the patient's CMS and prepare for transport.